he thought this was an insult. During the American Civil War, a Union officer named Robert Gould Shaw accepted command of the 54th Massachusetts, the first all-black regiment in American history. In a time where many people believed that African American troops would lack discipline and be difficult to train, Colonel Shaw trusted them, praised their intelligence, and repeatedly encouraged them to refuse pay until it was equal to what the white soldiers were getting. Now this obviously angered a lot of people, especially Confederates in the South. And when Colonel Shaw was gunned down while leading his men at the Second Battle of Fort Wagner, the commanding Confederate officer, Johnson Haygood, saw an opportunity for revenge. Although it was customary back then for the bodies of fallen officers to be returned to their own side and given an honorable burial, General Haygood refused to do so for Shaw and instead just threw him in a mass grave full of his fallen black soldiers. It was intended as a horrible insult. But when Union troops tried to recover Colonel Shaw's body to give him a proper burial, his father stopped them, stating we would not have his body removed from where it lies, surrounded by his brave and devoted soldiers.